In this tutorial, we're going to cover um, the options associated with printing a spreadsheet. Um, to get started, the quickest way to print is to actually use your Quick Print button. We talked about that last week, about adding that to our Quick Access Toolbar. So up here at the top, you can hit the, if you don't see yours, you can hit the down arrow and choose Quick Print. Keep in mind that this Quick Print button is exactly that. The second you hit it, it's going to send your document to the printer. And whatever your default settings are, are what you're going to get with the printer. Um, most of the time you will want to do to change some of the settings to make your document print a little more um, professional looking. There are times with spreadsheets that your documents will overlap a couple of pages and the second page does not look pertinent or does not have column headings or such. So to print, you can go to the um, file and then print. And then you're going to see the equivalent of what we call print preview. And one of the improvements in this version of Office is the fact that your print settings are also on print preview. So you can take a look at it and change those as you need to. Um, Briefly, I'm just going to go over what these are. Um, print active sheets. Um, if you hit the down arrow, you can have you have three options here. You can print the um, active sheets, which we'll talk about in a second. Print entire workbook, or print a selection or a highlighted area. Um, if you print, use the default, and it's going to print literally the active sheet. Um, what a lot of folks don't realize is that you can actually select more than one sheet tab at a time. So if I go back here, you'll notice that we have three um, workbooks, I mean worksheets in this uh, document, HR, Operations, and Finance. If I wanted to print HR and Finance, I would hold down the control key on my keyboard. HR is already selected, so I'm going to click Finance, and notice that both of them actually appear selected there. So after you do that, if you go to File, Print again, you'll notice it says Print Active Sheets, but I actually have two pages. So I can go through and those are both of my um, workbooks that you see there. Um, print on both sides. If you have a printer that allows um, multi-plexing, um, you can go through and actually choose how to do that. Um, a lot of printers, even your home printer, will allow you to manually do that. Um, collated means that it will keep multiple copies together like they're supposed to be. Orientation, and I think you've seen this from CIS 110, um, portrait or landscape. Um, paper size, margins, and scaling. Now, scaling, in my opinion, is one of the most important um, options in printing because there are times you want to print your workbook to one page um, and you have difficulty with that. So what you can do is you can tell it to fit all the columns on one page or all the rows on one page and it will automatically change the font sizes to make that happen for you. Um, in very large spreadsheets, uh, fit it to one page altogether sometimes is not um, a good choice as it will print too small to read there. Um, but these are your print options. You can go through and um, set those um, as you would like. The um, other thing I want to show you is that these same options, if we go back to our spreadsheet, another way that you can get to your print settings is to um, go to your page layout tab. And when you go to page layout, you'll notice that this section right here is essentially the same things that you had in your print preview settings in the back stage. Um, I find that this is actually a little bit easier to work with before um, I go to the backstage area to print. But a couple of things that I want to show you is this is a rather large spreadsheet. Um, and there are times when you print this that you may need to change some of your settings so that they fit appropriately. Um, one of the things I want to show you is that you can set print titles. And up here at the top, you'll notice that my headings only appear once. And if I jump over to Print Preview, you'll notice that as I go to page 2 and on, those headings disappear. So you can actually set that so they print at the top of each page. So if you click on Print Titles, notice I've highlighted that row, Print Titles, 
and click here. Excuse me, I meant right here down at the bottom here. And if I highlight that row and go back and say OK, now when I go to Print Preview, notice my headings are here at the top. And as I go to each page, those headings stay constant. And so that's a feature that's very helpful um, when you have very large spreadsheets. Um, another one I want to show you is your scale to fit. And I mentioned this on the backstage area, but you can also take care of that here. If you are just trying to fit all of your columns on one page, my first advice is to fit, switch the orientation to landscape. Um, in this case, this does fit to one page for all the columns, but maybe I want to fit the height on one page. And this is not going to work well because it's a large spreadsheet, but I just want to demonstrate how this uh, works to you. So if I say height to one page, now take a look at what it does. It actually um, resized everything so it could fit to one page. Now, uh, um, as you can see, that's not ideal for um, this particular spreadsheet, but this does allow you, if you're just one column off the page, to fit everything there. Um, I'm going to increase the font size real quick just to show you what it looks like when it's off the printer page. So let's see if that's a little obnoxiously big. And, oops, sorry. So now if I go to page layout and print preview, It's still fitting to one page, so I have to switch back my scaling to 100%. And this is just because I was playing with the document. This is not something you will have to do. Do you see this dotted line going right here? This is actually your margin for the page. And so you'll, you can kind of tell in the spreadsheet columns J through M are not showing. So if I want to switch this to make this fit to one page wide, I can say one page and it will notice that the dotted line went away. And if I go back over here, you'll notice that it did fit everything to one page. And like I said, this was just a, a large spreadsheet that I just um, was using for demonstration purposes. But this is where you handle all of your um, print settings. A couple of that I want to show you is you do have the ability to print grid lines. Um, these are the lines that you see around each of the cells. So if I hit print here, and I go back to print preview, you'll notice it's actually putting in the grid lines too. And some people prefer that if they're working with a document for um, the purpose of reading the material and checking things off. Um, I find that's a little bit easier to have. So um, in lesson three, it also covers um, how to customize your ribbon and your backstage area. Um, I advise you to take a look at that, but that's not something that I'm going to require you to do this week. Um, it's something that you will not see on the exam, but it is good, it's good information to know. So if you have any questions, just let me know.